By 2030, scientists predict there'll be one billion more people in the world. So where are they going to live? The greatest population expansions are expected to happen in African and Asian cities, many of which are already very overcrowded, so they can't go there. Two researchers in the States set out to build a map of potential places to put the next billion people. First, they ruled out regions with high water stress, land covered in ice, and places with unique species that need protecting. Then, they excluded densely settled areas where there were more than 100 people per square kilometre. What they are left with are zones deemed suitable for sustainable development, some classed as highly sustainable and some as somewhat sustainable. But it isn't quite that simple. Large areas of Central Africa fit the bill, with lots of natural resources, but at the moment, these areas are poorly governed and there are few jobs. Another promising swathe of land is in South America. On one hand, the warm, moist climate could support crops like rice and maize, great for feeding lots of hungry mouths. On the other hand, nearby biodiversity hotspots like the Amazon basin need protecting. There are similar conservation concerns in species-rich northern Queensland, and finding suitable land isn't the only challenge. As recent refugee crises in the Middle East demonstrate, relocating people from their homelands to new shores is not easy, politically, emotionally or practically. Also, the habitable zones on this map span multiple countries, and it's unclear how governments would work together to encourage migration there or to house people. There are other options, like creating yet more compact cities supplied with water from yet deeper wells or desalination plants, but some argue that this would be unsustainable in the long term. What is clear is that the next billion people will need to live somewhere, and urban planners, scientists and politicians will need to work together to plan where it's going to be.